Hello everyone, welcome to the Active for Life online studio. Today we're going to be doing an upper body workout seated here in our chair with some little hand weights. So of course you can use whatever weight works best for you. I've just got a couple little two pounds here. Um, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with or whatever you have. If you don't have any actual hand weights, you can always adapt and modify to use some something else. You can use some cans, some bottles, whatever works for you. Um, of course, you don't even need to use weights for this workout. You can always just go ahead, do the movements without and build up the strength and mobility. Um, you can be sitting in any kind of chair, but preferably something fairly stable where you can have your feet planted on the ground and your back a little bit away from the back of the chair. We are going to be doing some moves today where we are going to be leaning forward, so if balance is an issue for you, make sure you have a chair or a countertop or something in front of you that you can use to help keep your balance. Um, I think those are all of the main things that I need to say about this workout. This workout is part of the posture program, which you can find up in the training plan section above. Um, it helps you stretch, strengthen, and move a little bit better and sit a little bit taller. So this workout, of course, is going to be focusing on those shoulder and back muscles that keep us sitting up nice and straight. Um, yep, I think that is all of the different things that I need to say about this workout. Before we get started, we're going to start out with a little bit of stretching and mobility work and some breathing. So we're going to take our weights and just set them off to the side here for a moment wherever they go. Find a position where your feet are firmly planted on the ground, nice and relaxed, feet about hip width apart. Bring your shoulders back and down, bring your back up nice and straight, pulling the crown of your head up to the ceiling. I want you to open up your palms here, stretch it out. And we're gonna start with a couple very big deep breaths. So you're gonna breathe in, bringing your arms up. And breathe out, letting them fall back down to your side. Again, stretching them out and away from the body, pulling up. And exhaling, letting them drop back down to the ground nice and slowly. One more big deep breath in, arms up. And exhale out, drop them down nice and slow. We're gonna do just a few shoulder rolls here, just rolling it back. And then we're gonna do some one arm up and over reaches. So taking one arm, you can place that other hand down on the chair for a little bit of stability and reaching up and over, really stretching out through your side body. Breathing in, twisting up, chest to ceiling, and then coming back down to neutral. Again, with the other side, reaching up and over, opening up your chest to the ceiling, and folding it back forward, extending out and back down, and roll it out. Feels good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pick up those weights. One in each hand, if you can. We're going to start with some little movements. So holding your weights down at your side. Again, you want to make sure that you're not leaning back against your chair. We're just going to do some little shrugs. And we're going to do about 10 of each for all of the exercises. So we're going to do 10 little shrugs here. We're going to shrug it up. Breathing in and let it come back down. Shrug it up, breathe it in and down. That's two. Five. Seven, 
eight, nine, and one last one, 10, and down. Okay. Shake it out, you can always take a little bit of time in between, put your weights down, shake it out a little bit, roll it, whatever you need. Then we're gonna go ahead and pick those weights back up. Palms facing up, elbows bent at a nice 90 degrees. We're gonna do a bicep curl, followed by an overhead lift. So you'll see, as I start, I've got my palms up, I bring my palms to my shoulders, and then I turn my palms outwards and I'm reaching up overhead, bringing the weights together and coming back down nice and slow, turn and back. So the reason why I'm showing you this piece by piece is because it's very important that we watch our posture and form when we move. So sitting up nice and straight, palms out, we're gonna lift up, turn and all the way up and back down, turn, and let it go. So keep pace with me here. You don't wanna be rushing through these. Two, three, and four, five, Nice and slow, make sure you're not dropping your hands. Eight. Nine. And 10. Up and down and back. All right, again, you can let them go for a second. Shake your arms out. And then we're gonna bring our hands down to our side and we're gonna work on those deltoid muscles. So in your shoulders, you have your anterior, your lateral, and your posterior deltoids, which bring your arm up straight, out to the side, and kicking back. And so we're gonna work all of those. We're gonna bring it up, one, two, back, three, up, four, five, six, and we're gonna do 20, seven, eight, nine, up, forward, 10, 11 to the side, 12 to the back, 13 forward, 14 to the side, 15 back, forward, side, back, that's 17. We're gonna do one full set left, so it's gonna take us a little over. We're gonna do forward, to the side, and back again. And then you can go ahead and put those weights down and shake them out. All right, now we're gonna do a side punch. So this is a nice like little bit of cardio one. So again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've brought yourself nice and brisk, but you're gonna bring your feet out just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Push myself back on my chair so I don't fall off here. You're gonna bring those weights up close to your face as much as you can. And we are going to be turning and punching out to the side turning through those oblique muscles, and then back, and turn, and back. And we're gonna do 10 on each side. So we're counting one, two. So we're counting one, one, two, two, three, three. Breathe out as you punch. Five, five, six, six. You should feel it in those ab muscles, keeping them engaged. Eight, eight, nine, 
nine, 10 and 10 and back to center and shake it up. All right, next one we are going to do is called a car driver. So I'm gonna take both my weights and put them in one. If you're using heavier weights, maybe you just wanna drop one, but we're gonna hold them out like you're holding a steering wheel. And we are going to do 10 little car driving twists there. So when you're ready, getting a good grip on your weights, holding them straight out, try to keep your elbows straight. We're twisting one, two, three. Ooh, I can feel these ones in my shoulders right away. Five, six, seven, eight, holding them out, nine, and 10 and bringing them back in. Oh, and rolling that out. Felt that right in the middle of the shoulders right away. What a good little move. Um, next one we're gonna be doing are some flies. So this is where we're leaning forward. So if you have a wall or something that you can either brace one hand on and you can do one hand at a time, or you can brace one hand on your knees if that's comfortable for you. Um, I've actually seen people also, if they wanna do it both at the same time, need a little bit of extra support, leaning your head against a wall or something else, whatever works for you. Either way, get a little bit of a lean forward, bring those weights down to your side, and we're going to be lifting them up and slowly bringing them back down. Breathing up, one, two, counting down, one, two. It's really hard to like resist the urge to drop them on this one, I know. But it's so good for you to get that negative enforcement on it. All right, so leaning forward, 10 times these for these. And when you're ready, breathing in. Up, one, two, up, one, two, down, three, four, five, keep that lean forward, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, slowly down and roll it out. Your shoulders are probably starting to feel it now, so take a little moment here, stretch it, move it. And then we're gonna do some triceps. So your triceps are the muscles on the back of your arm here, and you've got two options. So whichever one's most comfortable for you. You can either do skull crushers, bringing, you can either bring both hands up, dropping it back behind your head and back up again with both. Taking one hand at a time with both on each side or leaning forward, bringing your elbow in close to your body here. Elbow in close to your body, kicking it back, straightening your, out your arm behind you and coming back forward like so, or with both, like so. So there's a few options on this one. Whichever one is most comfortable for you. I'm going for the double overhead today. So I'm going to bring my arms up. We're gonna do 10 of these. So if you're doing one on each side, you'll be doing five on each side. So when you're ready, you're gonna drop down behind your head and extending it all the way back up or kicking it back, whichever one works best for you. Two, three, four. Make sure you're sitting up nice and straight if you're lifting overhead. Five. Seven, 
eight, a couple more, nine, feel the burn in the triceps, and 10, and back down. All right. So this one we're gonna do next is some cactus arm pull downs. So you're gonna start with your hands in a nice cactus arm shape. So nice 90 degree here out from the shoulder. You're just lifting up and pulling back. And you want to, let's see if I can show this in the camera, be pulling your arms back and down just a little bit, engaging the muscles between your shoulder blades, retracting the shoulder blades together and then pushing back up. So, whenever you're ready, arms up, finding your stable position, and lifting up, and pulling back, bringing those shoulder blades together, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10, and let your arms drop and shake them out. All right. This is our last workout for today. So we're gonna be doing some rows. For this one, I'm gonna say do one side at a time. So I'm gonna take both my weights in one hand, but you can drop on whichever one works better for you. Again, we're gonna lean forward, but this time you're gonna have that other hand for sure to prop yourself on your up, um, knees like so. Hand down beside you. You can be rowing your weight up tucking your elbow in close to your body and back down, rowing up and down. So 10 of these on each side, getting yourself into position, leaning forward, making sure you're not sliding off your chair like I feel like I am. Okay, just a slightly awkward sized chair, but I have short legs, so they all are. All right, when you're ready, we're lifting one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. And back down. Bring up, pull it out. This is the last one, last exercise for the day. Arms down to your side, lifting up. One, two, three. Keeping that elbow in close to the body. Five, not dropping your hands back down. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And go ahead and put those weights down. You can sit it back, let it rest, whatever you need to do. We're gonna stretch it out a little bit. All right, we're gonna start with a big chest opening reach. Breathing in, and then we're gonna hug ourselves, pulling our shoulder blades apart, rounding out through the back. And bring it back down. We're gonna do a few cat cows. So you're gonna put your hands on your knees. So we are going to open the chest up, pushing the pelvis back, pushing that tailbone out, lifting your head to the sky, and then exhaling, rounding your back, tucking that tailbone in, and dropping your head. Breathing in, tailbone out, head up. And round it back out, breathing out. Move with your breath at whatever pace feels right for you. Getting some full mobility in that spine, stretching out through the shoulders. One more. 
more big inhale. And come back to neutral spine. We're gonna do a little tricep stretch. You're gonna bring your arm up over your head and then just push that elbow gently back. Even if that actually means that your elbow comes to like here and you're pushing back as long as you feel that stretch in through the triceps. Whatever your range of motion is, stick with it. Don't try to push it too far. You don't want to injure yourself. And let it go. And switching sides. Pulling that elbow back and up. Letting go again. And big deep breath in, arms up. And exhale, let them fall and shake it out. And that is our workout for today. So I hope your shoulders and back are feeling nice and strong. Again, this workout is part of the posture program. So you can go check it out in the training plans in the menu up above. And if you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you just want to chat with me, you can always come and find me in the Facebook group. And you can find the link to that in the community page above. So I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you had a good workout and stay active. Bye.